Anita Frank, 57 West Church Street, Wilkesbury. We're here as part of the Downtown Residents Association, and we would like to request that you establish a new zone parking permit area. As part of our ongoing efforts to attract permanent residents to our city, we would like to improve parking availability for the downtown residents and their guests. Limited on-street parking in the downtown area forces residents to park their vehicles in distant or unsafe areas due to the congestion attributed to commuters and other non-residents. The rigid enforcement of the parking meters during the early morning hours and on Saturdays is a hardship to the downtown <coughs> residents and their guests at a time when the city should be encouraging people to live in and promote the downtown. So we propose establishing a new zone parking permit area in the downtown neighborhood as delineated on attachment map by a copy for each of them. The area would be the area from South Street in the north to West Ross Street, and then the eastern border would be Barnum Place, and on the west it would be West River Street. An eligible vehicle owner would purchase a permit, much as in the other areas in town, which allows unrestricted parking on blocks with time limit signs and free parking at meters. The permit would only be applicable in the district specified on the sticker and only on blocks posted with parking permit signs. As with other zone parking permit areas, this would be a program for permanent residents with Pennsylvania vehicle registrations, listing an address within the described zone. Of course, we understand that any outstanding parking tickets or fines must be paid in full prior to being issued a permit. Permit holders would obey all other parking regulations. We prepared a little map to better explain our area. But you can see uh, what's happened in our neighborhood is that we have no available parking unless you go to a metered parking street like West River or South Franklin. Ross is metered and so is West South. Or a limited parking of one hour and a very small limited parking area of two hours or no parking at all. Therefore, if you have any guests, anyone coming to your home, you have to feed the meter for the entire time you're there, or if they happen to stay overnight, you have to be out there at quarter to eight to feed the meter, because on Saturdays, all these meters are ticketed by the police force. Uh, it gives us no uh, sense of uh, residence. Uh, we feel like we're being intruded upon all the time. By, by the police and the rules. There are four other zones that we know about. Uh, this would be an overlay district just like theirs are. We don't ask you to remove any meters, to change anything, just to allow us to have these parking uh, permits. We would post them in our car, only for registered cars to those addresses, and it would make all of our lives easier. It would enhance the downtown area that we live in, which is uh, one of the nicest uh, areas downtown, and uh, we'd like to promote more people to come and live there. But parking becomes a true issue for people coming to live there. And we're all willing to pay for the permit, so that would help to offset anywhere you get them finding us. Right. And also, we noticed that we believe the parking permit now is $15 a year. We'd be very happy to pay more than that. It's a very valuable thing to us. So if you want to increase it three, fourfold, we're very happy to do that. We just want to have that right that they have in the other zones to park our cars on our streets. And it's a limited number of private homes in the area anyway. Yes. Uh, actually, there are uh, 31 private residences and 27 apartments in that area. Uh, we thought we were coming to a work session where we could present this. So we need to know um, if you would consider this, and then when we come back to find out. Actually, this is uh, uh, should be more directed towards the traffic committee. Well, we've they, they talked to them, but we were told yet to come to city council. I I collected signatures from everybody who lives on my block and took them to the desk downstairs, and she said, "I can't take that because you're not zoned." We so we have to be zoned. zoned. Right. Myself and Drew were working when we met last fall, I believe. And, and we are working on, on trying to implement this so that it does protect the property owners there. And as I discussed with you privately that night, what my concerns were. So we want to make sure we're doing it the correct way. So, and I did receive, we, we are researching how other cities are doing it. I have a lot of information for you. Yeah, you can call. So, we're not, again, it's, it's 
uh, I know you're anxious, but you want to make sure you do it correctly the first time. Right. Now. This would be open to students as well, as long as they had visited any registered vehicles to that address. That's fine. Which a lot of most students are from Pennsylvania. Um, <coughs> to the address within the zone area. Right. You know, so, to be registered if, to that. If they're registered there, you know, then. And that's there your concern. Was. That's your concern. It's our concern. So we're not neglecting you. We're just we're working out again. We want to make sure we're doing it correctly, but most importantly. Okay. We can't we can't just hop on to the other four permitted areas. They're established. Right. That's what we didn't know before. The difference this. between the other areas and your areas is they're workers that are parking their neighborhood. You have workers. You have student tents. But, but the universities do provide parking for their students. Yeah. And no designated parking. areas that we can't use. They provide a good parking for on campus students. These are often issues. We recognize and we understand your concerns and your frustrations and trust in the fact that we are working on this. But again, we want to make sure we're not going to violate anybody's rights. Uh, and we're getting through the research of this and uh, he's ready to make the uh, police department in. So when can we meet with you, Drew? <laughs> Whenever. I'll, I'm here tomorrow. So we, we would like to get this done. Your, if you could give me any information to have and allow me an to, to, to read it all over. And then we, we I'll research this. Okay. I'll read your research, I'll cover out with mine, and then I'll reach out to Willing to be a point of contact, and then I can arrange a meeting with Garner together. Thank you very much. Thank you. Karen, step up her